Check us out in Spanish at Universos Abiertos. Mexico, with its enchanting history. From a scary island with discarded dolls to the drink of the gods and people who call out run horses, let's explore the fun, funny, and unexpected Mexico. I'd like to thank our Mexican viewers by dedicating this video to you. I hope everyone likes the video. Subscribe and let us know what other fun and unexpected customs and traditions about Mexico you think we should know. Remember Ned is somewhere in the video. Comment when you see our mascot. A head spinning game. Football, basketball, baseball, there are lots of games we love to play or watch. But what happens when you lose a game? Not much, better luck next time. But in ancient Mexico, you may want to win always. The Aztec Empire had a ritual ball game known as Tlachli. The rule was that the losers were often sacrificed to the gods. And nowadays, most players are treated like gods. Thanks to your pooch. What do you do when your pooch has to go to the bathroom? Besides taking him for a walk, in Mexico, you can get free Wi-Fi. Mexico City came up with a clever way to keep the parks clear of doggy doo. The more puppy poo you deposit in certain bins, the more Wi-Fi you get. I imagine professional dog walkers have a large free Wi-Fi reserve. Running like the wind. Who is the fastest runner? If we base it on the recent Olympics, we can say Jamaican-born Usain Bolt. But have you ever heard of a human running for longer than a horse? In northwestern Mexico, the native people of Tarahumara can outrun even their prey. They call themselves raramuris, running people or winged feet. They have been reported to run about 200 miles without stopping and without shoes. They have been doing this from birth and are so fit they could run for two days without stopping. They use their superhuman skills to outrun their prey until it collapses of tiredness. The drink of the gods. If craving a sweet, what comes to mind? Typically, chocolate jumps out first. It's our Valentine's Day a pick-me-upper, Halloween, and more. You name it. And Mexico started all that. Chocolate was so revered that it was drank during ceremonies and offered to the gods, even to treat colds or fever symptoms. What other common items came from Mexico? At the movie theaters, as you are heading to watch your movie, you first make a stop at the concession stand, and besides getting chocolate-covered nuts, you also get popcorn. Thank Mexico for popcorn and chocolate came from there. Mexico's influence on the Italian cuisine. If you have ever gone to an Italian restaurant, then you may have ordered a lasagna or even a pasta with bolognese sauce. And the main ingredient in all of those dishes is actually not from Italy. When the Spaniards traveled back from Mexico, they took with them New World products such as chocolate, corn, and tomatoes. Tomatoes were a hit in Italy and became the staple for the majority of their dishes. Again, thanks to Mexico, we can eat delicious Napolitano pasta. Of states and breeds. Have you seen our mascot hiding in the videos or at least saw the intro with a picture of the furry creature? Sometimes Ned is hiding more than once. I even forget where sometimes. Our mascot is a chihuahua a breed of tiny dogs discovered in the mid-19th century in a state of Mexico called Chihuahua. But did you know that Chihuahua is also a food item? The state of Chihuahua not only has dogs, but also make a fantastic cheese with the same name. And it is delicious. Try it next time you visit, or go to an authentic Mexican restaurant. Mexico is not all tacos and burritos, it's also cheese and dogs. All that is good in this world. The scariest island. In the middle of a swamp near Xochimilco, there is an island where over 50 years ago, a man used to live all by himself. 
After the drowning of a little girl in the nearby canal, a doll appeared at the shore of the island, and the man took it and made a shrine to honor the child. Over the years, more and more discarded dolls were added by him, making the island look as if Chucky was born there. The man finally passed away, in 2001, from drowning. The island has become a tourist attraction and its name reflects its story, Isla de las Muñecas or Island of the Dolls. How do you feel about visiting an island filled with dolls? Kind of creepy, huh? The Kind Empire As kids, you probably had played a pretend battle, using plastic swords or sticks to protect your kingdom from the dragons or other kings. And who would have ever thought that real battles were done like the imaginary ones we played as children? Before the well-known Aztecs and their sacrifices to the gods, there were the Toltecs more known as civilized and cultured people. They will use wooden swords to fight their enemies without hurting them. Who will have ever thought there would be battles with wooden swords? How cool is that? Authentic American food. Ordering food in Taco Bell means getting a taco, fajitas, and more. And we may view the menu as Mexican food. But how will Taco Bell's food be viewed in Mexico? The marketing department of Taco Bell, when entering Mexico, called it authentic American food. It did not go very well with its citizens, and in 2010, the Mexico City Taco Bell closed down. But what is your favorite Mexican dish? Fun and festive memorials. On Halloween, we get dressed up, put some makeup on or a mask to fit the character and go into the night to enjoy the festivities. But Mexico goes a step further. They don't just celebrate one day, but about six. The holiday was originally in the summer, but started being associated with Christianity the first days of November. The Day of the Dead, the celebration is unique in that they create shrines to honor their family and friends who have passed away. Altars are made with painted skulls, marigold flowers, and the favorite foods of the departed. Parades and festivities are never missing either. The Day of the Dead, a creative and festive celebration honoring those who have left. Breaking out free. When you think about prison, what do you think of? And what will happen to an inmate who tries to escape? In the movies, it does not go very well for anyone, but in Mexico or Germany, well, you may not get in trouble. According to their law, all people have a fundamental desire to be free. But don't think it's that easy. There is a small print. You have to do it on your own, no help, cannot damage property like break a window to escape, and cannot steal. That means walk with the clothing you are wearing since it's not yours. Basically, if you're free, you will go back to jail because all their laws were broken. But hey, at least there is some respect for your desire to be free. The Ceremonial Pozole Here is an interesting note on foods that have evolved to fit the times. Pozole, a soup that is made with pork, chilies, corn, and other ingredients, is usually served for special occasions, but there is a menacing ingredient that was common during Aztec times. Since the soup had ritualistic significance, after the Spaniards banned human spices, pork was used instead. According to accounts, pork tastes just like it. I guess not everything tastes like chicken. Of turkeys and butterflies. What do these two have in common? They all come from Mexico. The turkey, or guajolote, was first domesticated by the Mayans in Mexico. The name was given due to it first being brought to England via Turkey, and hence the name. Monarch butterflies, these distinctive insects migrate for thousands of miles from the U.S. to the warm climates of Mexico during the winter. They are the only insect in the world to migrate to warmer weathers. Trees look as if on fire from the hundreds of millions nesting together in Mexico. Mexico discovered. What other cool things do you know about Mexico? Let us know and click the like button. 
Thank you again for watching.